Sunday, June 25th, 2017, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So I'd like to like discredit all the central bankers of the world, especially from the Bank for International Settlements and also the Fed, Bank of England, ECB. Uh, they're all basically either dishonest or they're ignorant. Uh, and why do I say that? Well, Bank for International Settlements, which is the central bank uh, for the central banks, is the banker for the central banks, based in Basel, Switzerland. It's not a Swiss institution. It's actually a su supranational national institution. It's almost like a, a state uh, within Switzerland. Uh, they've come out today with their 87th uh, annual report. So they were founded in 1930 by the private central banks, and it's still private, of course. And there's a few headlines, you know, the main uh, mainstream media is caught on to this and they've come out. The FT, for example, says uh, central banks warned on risk from low inflation. How can low inflation be risky? So I'll, I'll get on to that later. OK. Uh, the Telegraph says next global financial crisis to hit with a vengeance warns BIS. So that's what the Telegraph got from that. Uh, the Guardian says, BIS warns rolling back globalization would be detrimental. Uh, and then Guardian as well says, booming stock markets distract from threat of excessive lending. So one of the most interesting uh, thing, things that uh, I get from this, and I read the article in the FT, um, I don't subscribe to the FT, but I was able to get it, and then it went uh, it went away. But I remember most of it, and uh, you can probably search it if you've subscribed to the FT. But they were saying in this article that uh, <laughs> basically the BIS is trying to warn central banks just because you know inflation is below two percent. Uh, that uh, it doesn't mean that they shouldn't be uh, raising rates because, you know, there's excessive credit and lending. And, you know, my point about inflation is that if you uh, take, you know, the Webster Dictionary, which I have here was my dad's dictionary. He bought it in the 70s and he, you know, gave it to me. Uh, you go to the page uh, on inflation, right? And I read it from the... Webster, Merriam Webster Dictionary from the 70s. It says, an abnormal increase in the volume of money and credit resulting in a substantial and continue, continuing rise in the general price level. So basically, in the 70s, uh, you know, and before that, inflation was considered uh, an excessive or abnormal increase in the in the volume of money and credit. So now the central bankers have gotten got themselves into a conundrum because they know they've created inflation, but they don't call it. You know, they consider inflation now and they tell the public that inflation is a phony CPI or RPI or PPI data or core CPI that they come out with. Uh, and all, all those numbers, of course, are all doctored and they hide really the, the rise in prices that have come as a result of the huge increase of uh, you know, in the volume of money and credit. And that has been done, of course, by the balance sheets of the uh, central banks and also by the zero interest rate policy that is allowed banks to create, you know, an excessive amount of credit. That's the inflation. So now you've got, you get the BIS trying to warn uh, its members, you know, the other central banks that uh, they should raise rates even though inflation, which isn't really inflation, is below 2%. So, you know, they've been caught out. But, of course, the general public and even the e 
in the mainstream economists for the major banks, Wall Street, City of London, they buy into this rubbish. And that's why we get into crisis because, you know, they, they, they've changed. They've uh, basically thwarted, not thwarted, but they've just be changed definitions and they've made it very dangerous, you know. And I, I, I've looked at the uh, Mer Merriam Webster definition from nowadays and it and it it looks very similar but they've changed it it, it they don't start with uh you know in 1970s they started with an abnormal increase in the volume of money and credit that's inflation in the 70s now they say a continued rise in the general price level usually attributed to an increase in the volume of money and credit so they've changed even Miriam Webster has changed the definition to suit the central bankers and the bankers. The other thing that's really like, uh, so that's, you know, 1970s. Uh, it's really falling apart, but it's still there. Uh, one th the other thing that's really, uh, uh, you know, really dishonest that they come out and say is that... Um, uh, higher wages. They, they said that in the article from the FT that uh, the BIS is warning that higher wages and low unemployment could cause inflation. That's totally bogus. Inflation is a totally monetary phenomenon. So for, you know, the, these guys that are supposed to be uh, PhD economists, you know, for central banks to say that is totally dishonest and you should totally ignore it. Uh, it's really, really, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> incredible. The other point I'd like to make, you know, if unemployment is so low, how come a over 100 million Americans co who could be working are not in the workforce? Again, you know, the, the economic statistics are doctored. And then, you know, I look here uh, from this website called statista.com, and it says, and this is for two... As of February 2017, it says youth unemployment rate in EU member states as of February 2017. So Greece, 45.2%. Spain, 41.5%. Italy, 35.2%. Cyprus, 304 Croatia, 288 Portugal, 254 France, 236 and the whole euro area or the countries that uh, have the euro, youth unemployment is 19.4%. Uh, so how can the BIS say that unemployment is really low uh, and that it's, it's going to create inflation? It's a load of uh, rubbish. So the thing is, they're, they're going to blame uh everyone else and everything else but themselves the central bankers they are the culprits they're the ones causing the instability and the inflation which is going to result in a total uh, wreck you know or disaster uh, and uh, you know that's what i wanted to expose today in this video uh, the bis and all the other central banks who come out and say that uh you know, uh, higher wages cause un uh, cause inflation. No, higher wages are the result of inflation. <laughs> you know, the government and the banks they, you know, they create uh, an excessive amount of money and credit. They debase the currency. Uh, workers, you know, they need uh, to earn more to survive so they call for higher wages even though nowadays you know the unions have been like um, kind of killed off so there's less of the de less demands for that but it's complete and utter rubbish that uh, you know higher wages cause inflation the other thing i wanted to talk about they go on about how uh technology and you know, low productivity is what is keeping, you know, un unemployment high and, and what it, it's what, what it's keeping inflation low. It's a load of rubbish because, you know, uh, productivity, uh, technology has got nothing to do with it. I think 
the the main thing is that uh, you know the uh, governments have become so uh, how can I say huge in the West. They've crowded out you know investment by having huge uh, national debts and by having to borrow so much money to keep uh, big government going. Uh, the warfare, where, where welfare state, uh, all the rules and regulations, uh, you know, and that stops like small companies from being created. Uh, small companies usually create a lot of uh, small jobs. I know, I know this because I tried to start a business in two. Well, I did start a business in 2012. I bought into a franchise. A pawnbroking franchise. I opened a shop in the UK, in Bromley, London. Um, and uh, yeah, I ran the shop for about two years, but there's so much uh, tax regulation, local taxes, uh, value-added taxes, uh, that I couldn't employ anyone else in the shop. I had to do it all on my own. Uh, if there hadn't been, you know, like uh, business rates, which is a local tax, if there hadn't been VAT, which is, you know, like a, a tax on your profits, if, you know, I, you know, I would have probably been able to employ someone else and the business would have picked up. But uh, I decided to sell it, sell it on, you know, um, the business, I liquidated it. But I can tell you, you know, I couldn't hire anyone because uh, all the costs are so huge. Uh, the biggest cost was the business rate, which is the local council tax that they, they tax the businesses. And uh, I could have hired someone part time uh, to work in the shop if they hadn't done that. And maybe the big business would have, uh, you know, picked up a little more. But that's what I wanted to say. It, you know, these central bankers are a bunch of uh, liars. That's the only thing I can say. I don't like to use the word, but uh, it's complete and utter uh, lies. Uh, inflation is a monetary phenomenon. It's the central banks who have created it. Now, that's why, you know, it sounds a bit weird. The BIS saying, oh, even though uh, their inflation, their CPI is below 2%, you should raise rates because, well, because there's too much inflation the real inflation, because they're warning that there's too much debt and credit being created, which is inflation. So uh, they're going to like uh, curb it. And uh, we'll have uh, another uh, financial event or disaster upcoming, uh, probably in the next 18 uh, months to two years, maybe even before. So there you go. Um, words are important. And they've... Uh, they basically twisted the meaning of the word inflation. And now, you know, they, you know, people are probably puzzled, you know, why are you raising rates if uh, inflation is below 2% or at 1%? Well, because that's not the real inflation. So if you enjoyed this video and my contrarian views, uh, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. Follow me on steemit.com. That's S-T-E-E-M-I-T.com. Also, uh, yeah, if you'd like to donate to the channel, there's some links below in the description. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.